All right, good morning, everybody. You're looking at the front window to the witch cottage, now called the gingerbread house cottage. We thought we'd start our project, getting this thing done, which requires shutters on each side and a flower box underneath. So I'm gonna show you what we've started so far. Okay, so there's gonna be one of these on each side. And what I did is I took this little piece of plywood right here, I held it up to the window over there. Then I had Gina go around on the other side and just with a pencil trace around the window so I didn't have to even bother measuring. So then I brought that over here. You can see the little drawing right there. And this is one side of it. It's actually going to be this side. What I did is I took two by four and I ripped it down and then up at the top here, because of the curve, I used a two by six and cut that. Now you can notice these little fancy little round parts right here. I wanted some for the bottom. So what I did is I cut some pieces of two by four and then those will go in here once I shoot it. If you don't have a table saw, you can use a circular saw, clamp it down and stuff. But I just set my fence for two and a half, cut down my little pieces. To fill in this part, we're gonna use fence boards, some cedar fence boards, because they're cheap. So on this side, what I did is I just routed by hand um, out this groove three quarters of an inch. So when we put our fence boards in there, they'll sit flush. Because we put these little diamond pieces, these three diamond pieces on the flower box, I wanted to do something just to kind of give it a little matching look. So on the cedar boards, what I did is I, that same size little square cube, I just cut out three on there. And then you can see you just stapled the cedar fence boards from the backside into here. Last night I got all the shutters all to the same place. I got all the wood cut, uh, sh put glue on them, shot them together. Uh, so the next thing to do, first thing, is to round over all these edges. And to do that I have this little round over bit that I just put in here. And I'm going to go through, route everything. Um, also what I'll do too is some of these places right here are a little uneven so I'll take a sander and kind of just do a real quick smooth over. It doesn't have to get too crazy because I do plan on putting the larger wood grain grooves in with the grinder and then mud it. Alright so I got all the sanding and grinding done that needs to be finished before I go ahead and apply the mortar on top of this. I'm just going to do a real thin coat so the next time you see these it should be all covered and then we'll go over it with a little sponge uh, make sure that everything's all all the mortars dug out of the little grooves that I just grinded in there And then it'll be ready for Gina to paint. I probably will pre-drill a couple holes Maybe three on the big ones and two on the little ones that way um, Instead of using hinges this time We're just gonna put some three inch screws through this and then the trim on the cottage That way I don't have to worry about the wind just blowing these things back and forth um, They're not gonna be functioning but a person could always put some hinges on there and make them functioning later. All right, so I got all the mudding done on the shutters yesterday. They're dry, did a light sand, and then mounted them up there. I just drilled two holes and uh, put some screws in there. I think it'll be okay. Maybe Gina can paint the heads of those so they don't show up as much. I also went ahead and finished the uh, flower boxes that we had made before and then fattened up those little corbels underneath there. Uh, just by adding some more three-quarter inch wood to it just to give it some uh, little thickness there so it looked right. Here's this side right here, same thing. Now the only other thing that we got to do is um, I'm going to make some little fake hinges that are look like all hammered metal and stuff, which I'll post a video and show how I did that. But um, these are ready for paint, so I'm going to give these over to Gina, and then she'll probably paint a base coat and then wood grain them. But... Yeah, not too shabby. The window, we still have to add a piece of plexiglass with some uh, old decorative stuff over there. So I will also post a video for that too as well. I gotta, man, I got so much stuff to do. The shutters and flower box is wood grained and what a difference it makes on the front of the house. Looks awesome. <laughs> <laughs> 